Okay. <laughs> I'm pleased with it as well. I mean, I'm probably not going to go home for at least six hours after this. Hey up everybody and welcome back to the channel. You join me on the A673 on the way to Bolton to go and see Shaq at LSG Performance or L L Lamb Street Garage. Now, today's going to be an exciting one and that's because I'm getting a JB4 fitted. And the JB4 is essentially a tuning box similar to that of DC UK, but a hell of a lot better. Um, it gives you a lot of flexibility with regards to what you want to do to the car. So, in terms of the flexibility you've got, so you've got two options. You can buy it as it is, and it'd be a plug and play. It'll leave you with around 350 brake horsepower, um, and that's it. You can take it off, sell it, do whatever you want with it once you've done with it, if you're selling the car or anything like that. Now, I've opted to go for the Bluetooth module. Now what that allows me to do is go into map 6, which is a custom map. So I'll speak about this a little bit later on when, we, when we're actually at the garage. But um, essentially after I get it fitted, I've downloaded the JB4 app, you do some logs and them logs get sent to Shaq. Shaq then analyzes them and gives me some sort of numbers and figures to put into the, the different variables that you've got on the JB4 app. It could be boost, it could be AFR, it could be all sorts of stuff. And I, I haven't had a massive look into it to be completely honest with you. But that allows you to go from 350 to around 365, 370 brake horsepower. Now, considering this thing costs just over 500 pounds, it's a really, really good value for money now. When you're looking at tuning the EA 888 cars, it could be an S3, it could be um, a Golf R, a facelift, anything like that, a uh, Cooper as well. You've got a couple of options. You can go to a mapper, you can go to API, MRC, Artec have also started releasing their maps for these engines as well. But they tend to be quite expensive now. Aside from that, Artec are doing it for £450 inclusive with the DSG tune as well. API and MRC are looking at around £1,000 for the same thing. Now the JB4 is about 500 quid, as I mentioned earlier, but the beauty of this is it gives you the flexibility to be able to take it off, to sell it for you know, near enough the money that you paid for it as well, especially if you've got the Bluetooth module. And as opposed to a map, it is reversible. Now, I was I was in two minds about whether to go for the JB4 or whether to go for a full board map. And whilst I'm deciding, I've decided to go for the JB4 simply because then if I wanted to go to APR or MRC or Artec, then I can take it off, sell it, get my money back, and then put it in towards stage two or stage three or whatever. Now, Shaq has... Oh, I've got an eye. Now, Shaq has always been really accommodating with this. He's been Unicorn Stage 1, he's APR Stage 2 at the moment, and he's had a JB4. So he's, he's sat down, I say sat down, he was on Facebook Messenger, but he's spoken to me about the differences, what the benefits are, what the downfalls are, and just give me a really good sort of roundabout bit of information that, that has essentially led to me to buy this. Now, when you're looking at real world differences between a stage one from a mapper and a stage one from a JB4, there's very little difference, um, which is why I'm actually going for it. So I'm hopeful that this video will give you a good idea as to your options when you want to remap your car. I will also be doing a couple of videos on the draggy differences now. Draggy is um, a sort of timing device that gives you real world flavours of the 0 to 60, things like that. Um, and I'm going to do three comparisons, we're going to do the car as it is stock, the car as it is on the map 2, and also the car as it is on map 6. Now Ryan, who did the, the review on the 400 brake horsepower Golf R, um, is very kindly offered to lend me his draggy so I can get that done. Um, but it'll give you a good idea as to the differences in the real world. Um, and the beauty about the JB4 is you can switch the maps, so as far as I'm aware there are 6 in total. Map 2, which is a 350 brake horsepower one, there's map 3, which is a valet mode, and I'm not sure what map 1 and map 4 are, but you've got map 6, which is the custom one, which is the one that I'm going to be eventually doing. So, we're just about to pull up to Shax in the next 5 minutes, so I'll catch up with you guys once we get there. Um, we'll have a chat about it, we'll have a chat with Shaq about the process and as always if you do like this sort of video please remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop me a comment on what your thoughts are, um, it really helps me sort of understand what content you guys are wanting, at the end of the day I'm not doing it for my own good, I'm doing it for yours as well. Um, 
so yeah i'll catch up with you guys once we get there right so we're literally just around the corner from shaq's place now um as i mentioned earlier big thanks to him um, and, and lounge street garage and lsg performance as well they've done a really good job of sort of letting me know the benefits of what's going on and i'd highly highly recommend getting in contact with him i'll put all of the links down below so you can have a look at it um but we're just turning the corner now onto where the garage is BMW just going up there as well, which I think we could hear a little bit earlier on. Um, but there's some horrible speed bumps here. I mentioned this before, but if my car's lowered, it's going to be knackered. <laughs> um, as you can see in front of us here, we've got that Long Street Garage sign. New signing since the last time we come. Um, we've done a lot of things as shot to this, but I'll catch up with you guys once we get out of the car and once we're ready. So here at Long Street Garage, Shaq is just taking the car just into here. Um, just to get the JB4 done. I'm really excited for this. Um, you're just telling me about how much of a difference it would make. And I'm like a little kid at the moment. On the car goes, onto the ramps, ready to rock. So this is Shaq's car. Um, as you can see, he's got the Praetorias on. He's, got the, he's just got these lovely carbon wing mirror caps, which I was thinking of getting myself. Um, which I'm actually going to get now as I've looked at them. and. They do look very nice. They've also got the Maxton kit on the bottom here as well, just along there. Very simple at the back, very simple indeed, but it's a stage two car, so it'll be very, very quick. I'm a really, really big fan of how Shaq's car looks. A bit of noise in the background there, so apologies if you can hear that, but it's just got a lovely look to it. I'm a big fan of them wheels, big, big fan of them wheels. So Shaq was just telling me that the JB4 just gets mounted in here. Um, all the wires will be neat and everything like that, which is quite handy. Because it's not a place you'd, uh, you'd usually look, to be fair. Um, the video for the Airbox mod will be going out shortly as well. You might have already seen it by now, but you can see just through here is where you Dremel the bits. And that goes directly into the Airbox as well. So Shaq's just doing a couple of bits here, um, just to get the setup done. Um, mine, the water bottle and the messy car, but um, yeah, so he's got to do a couple of bits in here. And then there are a couple of mounting points. Let's go around here. There's a couple of mounting points under here, different uh, plugs and everything. So we'll get that done. We'll go out for a drive afterwards and see what it's like. And then we'll get the draggy times done at some point. So I'm just going to leave Shaq to work for a little bit and so I'm just going to talk about a couple of things that are going to be going on. I'm going to be getting some more mods for the car as well, some aesthetic things and also some performance things as well. So be sure to obviously keep tuned to the channel. Also if you haven't noticed, I've got this nice little hoodie. Um, it's not merchandise or anything like that, I just got it purely for myself. Um, just when I go to shows and things like that, but I will be expanding what I'm going to be doing. So I might have t-shirts, hats, that sort of thing. If you are interested in getting one, just let me know and I'll, I'll sort you one out. Um, also, I'm thinking, and I'm not 100% sure yet, about doing some A-Up stickers. Obviously, at the beginning of every video, I do say A-Up, it's Josh or A-Up, it's JJB or anything like that. But maybe a hashtag A-Up. If you're interested, just let me know. I'll get you one sorted. I'll see what I can do with it. Um, but yeah, just Shaq's going to be on with it in a minute. I'm just going to show you some things around the garage, some things to do with what they're actually doing. So they've actually become air tech dealers, as you can see just behind me here. So if you're looking for an intercooler, the turb well bore, the intake hoses, the... Um, I can't even remember what it's called, the turbo muffler delete, then get in touch with Shaq. As I mentioned, I'll put everything down below um, for you to have a look at, but even if you just had a conversation with him, he's there to help you. He's very, very good for the Volkswagen scene. He does a lot for a lot of people. But yeah, we're just at Lime Street Garage, as I mentioned, and I'll come back to you once we've got a bit of an update on the car. The JV4 is laid out there. Where, where do these plugs go in then, Shaq? Okay, so we've got the map sensor. Yeah. Uh, then we've got the fuel in our loom at the bottom here. And we've got the boost sensor on the on the throttle pipe underneath as well. Is that the one that people struggle with when they do it themselves? They have to get it up on a ramp or something. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, so they struggle with that, and they struggle with the OBD cable. Um, right. But there's a good how-to video on YouTube, which makes things a lot easier and shows how to do it properly. And if you think if you think of getting one yourself as well, I'll link that YouTube video. I'll find it. I'll link it down below just in case you're going to be self-fitting it. Of course, if you're anywhere in the north of England at all, whether you're in Newcastle, Leeds, Manchester, anything, come down to Shaq, you'll get it done. Um, he's got a brilliant reputation and stuff like this, so you'd be just doing yourself a disservice if you didn't. 
I'm more than happy to help them. You know, if they need any technical advice, anything doing, even if it's not a unit purchase from me, I'm happy to help them for the group. It's uh, we always try and help each other out in the group if we can. Brilliant. Yeah, I've noticed you've you've said that in a few that I've been to say I've been that I've. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, the ones that I've had, I've put on, you know, some some of the guys that they've purchased off me, that um, that they're selling. So I'm happy to carry on the customer support and do the customer mats for them. But even the ones that people buy themselves elsewhere, be, being part of the groups like a community. So I'm happy to help any group member who needs it. Really, yeah. Instead of struggling. It's always good to hear. I don't know if you managed to hear that before, but if anyone does purchase a JB4, whether it's used or you get it from somewhere else a little bit cheaper, then Shaq said he's more than happy to help set it up and to help sort of fit it as well. As I just mentioned there, I will put the YouTube video down below, which helps people who are fitting it themselves. But if you're wanting to get a Map 6 and you get a Bluetooth module, get in touch with Shaq, all the details will be down below and he'll help you set it up. Um, and he'll just he'll just give you some support as well because the thing is about the Facebook group that we're in the, the golf hour when everyone's you know, it's, it's not one of the Facebook groups everyone's at each other's necks all the time it's it's quite tame people help each other and like the people like Shaq are always there as well to help so if just keep that in mind if you do look for one okay so I didn't actually realize this but the plan or what I thought the plan was you were gonna come in and get a map two log it for a bit and then go on map six but Shaq's just mentioned to me that we're going to be going straight to map six which is going to be very very good we're going to go out in the car and make sure it all works okay um, and then of course what I'll do is I'll do some videos comparing the lot to you guys and that's simply because I just want you to experience and sort of understand what the map two is like what the map six is like and the actual real world differences between the lot of them as well so I'll catch up with you guys once we're in the car I might put a little couple of bits in if Shaq's got um, anything else to say but um, yeah, that's just made me a hell of a lot happier. Okay, so we're in the car with Shaq, who's going out on a bit of a test run. He's got the little logging thing down here from the JB4 app. I have to mind the GoPro, but we're just going to see see what it's like. I'm interested to see what's the um, what do you normally leave the old temperature to get up to? Because about 85 onwards is where I, before I start uh, driving them hard. Right. Okay. Uh, 90 and above is that continuous hard driving. Yeah, because I've noticed when if I'm on the motorway or something, or I've been going at it for a little bit, it will be sort of 95 yeah. upwards. Oil works more efficiently when it's hot in here. Yeah, because yeah, it gets more, it gets thinner, doesn't it? I yeah, think. the viscosity is uh, the important part of the of oil. So a lot of people start panicking when it's all oh, my oil's getting hot, but actually, it's when it gets to above sort of 125, 130 is when they start degrading. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Optimum temperature is sort of like 100 degrees, 110. And it works most efficiently at that point. That's good to know. Very, very good to know. So I'm just gonna turn this around a little bit. So I can still feel it. I can feel it a little bit now. Okay, yeah. no, we're not opening it up fully yet, but yeah, it's more responsive now. Another thing that goes really well with the uh, JB4's pedal box. Right, okay, that's the... Increased responsive uh, on the pedal. That's the BMS one, isn't it? it is, yeah, uh, which we always, which is what we sell stock. Sorry guys, you're gonna get a really close angle on my face, I'm just, okay. Yeah, it's a lot quicker, isn't it? Hell, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so the, J, the JB4 is now set, so we're now gonna do some vlogs. Okay. See how it's reacted. See if we can turn it up a bit, or we might have to turn it down slightly. We need to monitor timing, uh, EGTs, uh, fuel trims, which is also really important, and just see how boost is uh, is responding. So we always do like a third gear pull. Okay. This is, I think, this is what Ryan was telling me about the third gear pull. Yeah. Uh, this, is, this is our data logging road because it's a national speed limit. So. Oh, brilliant. Uh, the gear just gets us just we, are, we are in Mexico though, aren't we? We are in Mexico though, there's national speed in Mexico. Um, he's, yeah, we're in Mexico. Not Bolton. Not Bolton, no, we've, we've, like I said, no shortcut to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Under the sea. <laughs> right. There already. Yeah, yeah, massive, yeah. massive difference. Yeah, it's supposed to be on the custom map now. So we'll have a look at what the logs look like on here. 
So Sharky's just checking out the logs to make sure everything as is. Um, this is a JB4 app that you can get on the Android App Store or the iOS Store as well. Um, it just allows you to monitor everything. So Shaq has actually connected it up to his phone at the moment just while we're doing this. And then afterwards it's going to be connected up to mine so I can sort of continue to monitor it. Uh, yeah, it's responded pretty well now. Uh, time is looking good. I'll have a look at EGTs in a minute. Uh, AFR's nicely there. Uh, okay, so... You said then that it was probably down to good fuel. Yeah. Um, I do use Shell V power. I get it from the same station every time. So if it's consistent from them, then brilliant. That's that's what we like to. There's some fuel, you know. You can, uh, people get quite surprised. You know, there's some say, "Oh, super lead is just in your head." But when we do when we do so many logs on cars. I can tell straight, so I had one that uh, I did a JB4 for, which was a remotely tuned in it, and he sent me a set of logs over, and the time was terrible. And then I asked him what fuel he was using, and he was using Jet 95. Right, okay. uh, and I said, well, we can't, we can't map on that, uh, because it's just pulling back time massively. So we had to set him on a very weak map, then leave it for a couple of weeks with decent fuel, and then map it. When he came back, the time was way, way better. It was hitting like just above 10 degrees, is what we expect on a stop map, so we can then up the boost then after. Right, uh, okay, brilliant. It's quite interesting because there's, there's a lot of debate about fuel and <clears throat> I'm not going to get into it now but at the end of the day if you've got a car such as this even on even if you open the petrol cap and you see the little note on there it does say use 98 or above Yeah. which is I, I don't know anywhere in the UK that does 98 run fuel but that leaves you with 99 that's Shell V Power, Tesco Momentum and they're the two which are you know essentially the most popular you can use additives can't you with boosting and the like but whether whether you want to do that consistently and that's it I mean you can boost is really good for getting getting your the peak timing what your map is asking for you know so you may not see a, you may see a benefit on a JB4 map 6 uh, to have a little bit of boosting just to keep the timing up okay. um, but you know maps such as MRC who re and in Unicorn who rely m more on timing more than boost do do react very well with boost lane or meth you know like you see Aaron's car I mean their advanced timing that they're going for is 15 degrees 50 I think it is maximum so for him meth is, reacts really well well with mine I don't think meth's gonna make a huge difference because APR don't target such a high timing angle it's just diff there's no right or wrong it's just different methods of tuning okay <laughs> I'm pleased with it as well. I mean, I'm probably not going to go home for at least six hours after this. I just need to fill up a tank of fuel and then I'm, I'm good to go. But no, it's, it's, a, it's a huge difference, isn't it? This is what I was saying to you. Everyone gets surprised when we when we do a JB4. The only thing is going to be a subtle difference. Um, and you know, it's it's not just about dyno figures. It's what it feels like on the road and the performance time to get. And that's what we're aiming for. And it makes a huge difference compared. I mean, as stock, these cars are very tame. Um, but you know, you get a nice shove now, yeah, much more than you were before a stock. Back in Mexico. Back in Mexico. It's quick how you get some ball in Mexico, <laughs> isn't it? This is it, you know, when you know a shortcut, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't tell anyone. Obviously, you guys sat behind a computer or an iPhone or whatever you want. You want sort of obviously you won't feel it, but you know, coming from driving the stock car for how long have we had it now? Five months, four months, something like that. To then feeling that, it's a massive increase in the pull. You can definitely tell it's it's doing some really good work. And I think obviously the fuel side is very very important. So if you are thinking about getting a JB4 or you're booked in to get one, please. For, for Shaq's sake and for your sake just use 99 and leaded fuel um, try to where possible obviously there's some areas of the UK and, and abroad where you can't get 99 run fuel but then they can at least they can sort of tailor it to that if, if that's what you're if that's what you're needing right I'm happy with that uh, what we'll do that's a pretty good map 6 that um, there is room maybe to move it up slightly top end um, but then 
what you gotta think is we gotta compromise timing and boost so yeah a lot of guys would like to up the timing on a JB4 or, or up the boost sorry on a JB4 uh, but that will then have consequence on the timing so we could lose a degree of timing so by upping my one PSI boost you lose a degree of timing it's like is it getting a balance right exactly yeah so for me I prefer to keep timing quite high okay. uh, top end especially you know, we're trying to aim for like 10 degrees is where the area we're aiming for so I could up the boost now because there is there is room for manoeuvre here but that will now mean the time will decrease so okay. I'd rather work your turbo less have good yeah, timing yeah. Uh, and you'll get into the same power we don't want to gain any more by working boosting uh, your turbo any harder uh, but I'm happy with the logs the AFRs are looking brilliant uh, your timing is excellent very little knockback here um, hey, fuel trims are within what I'd say is about right I'm pretty happy with that um, yeah I think we can have um, what we can do is in a week or two you can send me some more logs and yeah. we can maybe do some tweaking then but that's pretty good done Brilliant. So I, I'm, I, as I mentioned, I've got the JB4 app on my phone, so we'll be showing you guys how to do logs and the differences and all the little nickety bits that you can do on the JB4 app, simply because it's it's a lot more than just going onto it and, and monitoring things. You can do you send shack logs, you can get logs for if there's anything you know if anything that you feel is wrong with the car. But I'll uh, I'll bring that video to you in the next couple of weeks or so once I've had a bit of chance to get used to it. Okay guys, so that's the JB4 done. Um, I'm extremely impressed. I'm gonna have a very, very good drive home. What I'm gonna do, um, I hope that I give you a bit of an idea, by the way, as to the, the installation. I'll, as I mentioned, I'll put the, the self-installation video down in the comments as well. But the pulling power of this car now is ridiculous. And I really want you guys to sort of consider this if you are looking for going for a map or you want a little bit more power out of your Golf R, Audi S3 or, or Cooper as well. Um, I'm just gonna drive home now, but I will be doing a review video, full video, on how the car performs, how it feels and everything like that. This was more of a vlog so you can see me going over to Shaq, Shaq talking bits technically about the, the, the sort of parameters and things like that. But I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, remember to like, subscribe, comment down below if you've got a JB4, let me know what your thoughts are. And until next time, I'll see you then.